So CDP have not long put out a statement in response to the many issues gamers are having with Cyberpunk 2077. The statement talks about many fixes coming and an improvement that will be felt on last gen consoles as well as an apology about the way in which they did not allow consumers to in reality see the game on last gen consoles to make an informed decision about the possible experience they may have when they purchase the game on said platforms. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more cyberpunk be sure to subscribe. Okay so CDPR not long tweeted this. Dear gamers, first of all we'd like to start by apologising to you for not showing the game on base last gen consoles before it premiered and in consequence not allowing you to make a more informed decision about your purchase. We should have paid more attention to making it play better on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Second, we will fix bugs and crashes and improve the overall experience. The first round of updates has been released and the next one is coming within the next 7 days. Expect more as we will update frequently whenever new improvements are ready. After the holidays we will continue working. We will release two large patches starting with patch 1 in January. This will be followed by patch 2 in February. Together, these should fix the most prominent problems gamers are facing on last gen consoles. We will be informing you about the contents of each patch ahead of their release. They won't make the game on last gen look like it's running on a high spec PC or next gen console, but it will be closer to that experience than it is now. Finally, we would always like everyone who buys our games to be satisfied with their purchase. We would appreciate it if you would give us a chance. But if you are not pleased with the game on your console and do not want to wait for updates, you can opt to refund your copy. For copies purchased digitally, you please use the refund system of PSN and Xbox respectively. For boxed versions, please first try to get a refund at the store where you brought the game. Should this not be possible, please contact us at helpmerefund at cdprojectred.com and we will do our best to help you. Starting from today, you can contact us for up to a week until December 21st, 2020. Humbly, CDPR. P.S. PC gamers will also be getting regular updates and fixes improving the game. Now to be honest, I respect what they have said here. Yes, it was a little sneaky, not allowing people to really see how this game performed on last gen. And with them also stating numerous times that it runs surprisingly well on last gen, many people did indeed go off this basis and purchase the game. But them coming out apologising and basically stating they will help you get a refund, although this should never be the case, it is great to see. It shows they actually care about their consumers, and to be honest if you guys know of CDPR's past, they definitely ain't like many other game developers out there and do keep on top of their games. Problem with Cyberpunk is it was released too early and this is no doubt due to the many promises, investors and money spent in getting this game out when or around the time they said they would. It could have in my opinion benefited from another 6 month delay, but it's here now. They are dealing with their troubles and promise a ton of fixes to sort out the many issues people are experiencing. They have admitted wrong for doings and I respect that. So yeah people, the latest news surrounding the game, CDPR react to the negativity this game has been receiving and also plan to dish out many many patches that will fix this game for the people who are having issues. So it is good to see. And on that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more Cyberpunk, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video, upload can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.